Hi Gemini, welcome to your almost daily love reading. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your love and support. Hope all is well with everyone. And Gemini, please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is an illusion in tarot, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Okay, Gemini, let's find out what are your love messages today. Spirit to angels. Show me important accurate love messages for Le uh, Gemini today. Gemini, love messages for Gemini spirit. Please show me. Gemini. Please show me more. Gemini, bottom of the deck is the Emperor and reverse could be dealing with an Aries. Gemini, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed. It could either be you or the other person you're thinking about or dealing with, okay? Okay, Gemini, so we've got the Devil card here. So in the past, there was a lot of toxicity, negativities within you and this person, okay? And in the past, this is a past lover okay past relationship we've got the five of wands too much drama <laughs> too much drama too much too much fighting could also indicate competition some competition other people involved possibly we've got the king of swords here somebody could have found out the truth and cut somebody off and will of fortune is in reverse um you know I feel like somebody could have felt in the beginning like, hey, you know what, maybe maybe this this relationship could evolve, but it kind of didn't, okay? It just stopped because somebody could have done something really bad here in the past, okay? So we've got the fool in reverse. Somebody could have acted actually like a fool, okay? And could have um, basically take make uh, decisions took risks that could have caused this the ending of this connection we've got the sun card here something is being made, made very clearly um who this person is and whatever they did behind your back um or what this connection is all about okay it was just really toxic and really negative we've got the four of swords in reverse um, definitely an indication of someone feeling really restless because of whatever that has happened here in the past. The emperor is in reverse, so it looks like somebody could also be taken, could, could have taken somebody for granted here. This is an abuse of power or could have lost control of themselves and succumb to the temptation with the devil card here. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, an indication again of a separation between you and this person. However, there's a Ten of Cups here, okay? I feel like maybe you guys were, were happy because the Cups indicates, you know, emotions and feelings, but also Ten of Cups, it indicates happiness. But it's it was just lack of stability with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse because the Pentacles, you know, it indicates stability. It's in reverse. So um, it could have been emotionally fulfilling. You guys could have been happy. But there is someone here whom is lack of stability. For some of you, it has something to do with money, your finances, okay? Financially, maybe not stable for some of you. You could be fighting over financial reasons, but not all of you. But other than that, it's it's almost like, you know, there's one side of the coin where it looks positive, but there is another side of the coin where it's not positive. It's almost like, you know, it's not perfect because the Ten of Pentacles, it's, if it's in a right position, to me, that's perfect, perfection, perfect Ten. But when it's in reverse, but the Ten of Cups is in a right position, so something is missing here. And I'm sensing what's missing is actually stability or even loyalty, okay? I feel like... I feel like there is the foundation of this connection is not strong, okay? It's not strong because 
somebody here does not actually you know i feel like there's one person here who uses their logic and practicality but the other person is just following their desire and lust and also i'm sensing um a little bit temperamental as well okay six of wands is in reverse an indication also of you know somebody whom could have fallen from grace and i'm also sensing someone here may not want to pay attention to this person anymore i've got the nine of pentacles in reverse again disloyalty this person in you know this person could be older one person here could be older but they're acting like a kid like they're not as as mature as they appear to be okay and the knight of pentacles is in reverse so again the knight and the, the emperor here definitely it's like you know initially the emperor could have been in an upright position somebody who could have shown as if they were stable or loyal and were not or reliable but turn out they were not reliable at all i do see financial struggles here financial difficulties for some of you not for all of you if it's not about the finances it's something to do with stability character character wise or emotional wise um, i mean it could mean anything but something is not stable someone is not stable here okay but one person is stable one person knows what they want one person is very logical okay and no no bs no nonsense very intelligent but the other person is not that intelligent <laughs> so sorry i'm laughing but this is why it doesn't match it is why it doesn't match and ten of uh, uh, swords is in reverse here so it looks like somebody could be struggling and they're trying to think about ways to help heal this connection help remove these swords that they themselves could have stabbed on you or you on them again roles can be reversed right and seven of pentacles is right here definitely an indication of um someone here feeling like you know what i've been planting all the seeds in this connection like you know just uh, wasting, I've wasted so much of my time and energy into this connection. What do I get? Nothing. So, just a bunch of emotions, okay? A bunch of emotions, but nothing that is stable, nothing that somebody actually wants here, which is commitment or stability. So, we've got the Nine of Cups here, an indication of someone, you know, it's a wish fulfillment card. Maybe somebody's wish is coming true. But it also could be an indication of somebody just being really selfish and self-centered. I'm sorry about my voice because I have a sore, sore throat actually from my sinus infection. But Ace of Swords right here. Gemini, I feel like somebody is just going to cut somebody off here in the past because the swords are, you know, these two single swords are like up. So I feel like somebody is going to make a decision to cut somebody off because they have more clarity. Uh, it's finally seeing things very clearly. They know the truth about this person, this connection, and they don't no longer want to be a part of it. And they feel like it's such a waste of time. And also they just want to, um, this time around, uh, take care of themselves and indulge uh, for themselves, no longer wanting to, no, no longer giving to this person, to this other person anymore. Anyway, gentlemen, I, this is a general reading, but if you like more clarification, you want a personal reading that is catered just for you, my information is in the description box below. And also, thank you so much for those who have joined my Patreon account. Um, that, that page is for all of my weekly extended reading like to join again link is also in the description box below if nothing else gemini if you resonated with this reading please hit like share and subscribe and also i post your video almost every single day and i hope to see you tomorrow take care gemini bye